I greet you viewers all over the world. I sincerely appreciate you for following the series of prophecy towards the new Nigeria. And I also want to use this opportunity to encourage those that have been praying along with us. Uh, as you are praying, don't give up your prayer. Especially the prayer for this nation. Don't give up. Because I see a lot of people discouraged. Don't be discouraged. You just be focused. We are in an evil world. We are not in a world of heaven. <laughs> the truth is that we are in an evil world. And the Bible confirms it in Galatians 1 verse 4. That praise be to God who has given us the grace to overcome in this evil world. The Bible refers to this world as evil world. So I want us to be in a mood of prayer, interceding for this nation. Don't give up in your prayer. Don't say ah, things are not the way we want. Things are not the way we want, but we can change it in the course of prayer. We can change it through our declaration, through our confession, through our faith. We can change it. Men that change the nation, they change it by faith. They change it by their works, by their action. I believe God that the new Nigeria will be born. It will manifest. Even if the conception as uh, the pregnancy has been terminated, another pregnancy has begun. Another conception has begun. God is going to do what he said. All we need to do is to have faith. I have told you that we are in a spiritual journey. In this journey, it is a journey of no retreat, no surrender. Today, prophecy is a revelation which I had. And um, it's also a confirmation of what I said in January 1st. I told you in January 1st that there will be a blood flow from the north. There is going to be a blood flow from the north. So what I saw, I saw bomb blast in Abuja. Bomb blast in Abuja. So the federal government should ensure security in Abuja. I'm repeating it. I saw bomb blast in Abuja. The federal government should ensure security of life, property in Abuja. Revelations are made for you to pray, to cancel. We are going to cancel that revelation in this prophecy. We are going to cancel it, but we need to, we need to echo it so that the federal government can ensure they inform the 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 military uh the police the soldiers so that they will be more security conscious the bible say a wise man foresee it evil and overcome it and get away from it our duty as christians is not to condemn we can constructively uh, correct or speak our heart but we are limited. We, our limitation is because we are prisoner of Christ. We walk in line with the scripture. We are led by the spirit to do what is right. We, don't, we walk in the spirit. So as Christian, it is our duty to pray for our nation. Pray for Nigeria. Nigeria, like I told you, is our Jerusalem. In the book of uh, Psalm 122, Psalm 122, verse 6, it says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, that they shall prosper that love thee. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, they shall prosper that love thee. It is our duties as believers to pray for Nigeria. When you see a revelation, and that revelation is negative. It doesn't mean that revelation must come to pass. You are to pray and avert it. When, you, when it is the will of God for you to avert it and you cancel it, it will cancel. 
because God desire for us is good desire. God doesn't have negative desire for us. So whatever he permits is for our own good. So we, if what we reject, God will also reject it. Say so whatever you bind you on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose you on earth shall be lost in heaven. That promise is for true believers. People who truly believe. And that promise is based on the scripture, the word of God, which is perfect in understanding. So what I'm trying to tell you is that we should pray for Nigeria. Because I told you I saw a blood flow from the north. And this is the plan of Satan. This is the plan of Satan. I said I saw blood flowing from the north in the map of Nigeria. And the, the, there was a vampire at the end collecting the blood in the spirit realm. Not in the physical, but in the spirit realm. And that indicates that there are so many things that are going to happen to the north. And these things that will happen, we brood the coming of Cyrus. So we need to pray that God should have mercy, God that we should avert this thing. Because I see bomb blast in Abuja. So we need to pray. Bomb blast in Abuja. We should pray for the security of Abuja. We should pray for the security of Nigeria. We should pray for the security of the north. You are going to be hearing of bomb blast in the north, especially in the north. The government should ensure that they send security men to ensure that there is nothing like bomb blast because I'm seeing bomb blast, bomb blast. What we saw recently it was so sad, but more are coming if these things are not being averted by security agents. So it is the duty of the federal government to ensure the protection of life and properties by making sure they give instruction to the military to ensure that they, they carry surveillance or they make sure they are sensitive and checking the areas, especially the north. This bomb blast, I saw it happen in Abuja. We should pray for Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, the president of Nigeria. We should pray for him. We need to pray for him. There's need for you to pray. Pray for him. You have to pray. I will pray. I will pray in this platform. You will pray. When we pray, God in his own power will deliver him from whatever attack that the enemy has put in place. So we need to pray. Pray for this nation. Bomb blast. I saw a bomb blast. I saw it. And that bomb blast took life. It was so sad when I saw it. This bomb blast will be close to the corridor of power. So, or in the corridor of power, we need to pray for those in the corridor of power. What I saw is bomb blast. Pray for Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. Pray for the Vice President Shetima. Pray for those in authority. Pray for them. The Bible tells us in the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, chapter 2, it said, I exhort therefore that first of all supplication, prayer, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Be made for all men. He said for kings and for all that are in authority. Those in authority, whether they are people we want there or people we don't want there, we have to pray for them. We are prisoner of Christ in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and accept, acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved. The will of God is that all men will, will be saved both those in authority. There are many people in authority that need salvation. Salvation is through the mediation of Jesus. If you look at verse 5, he says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. That man Christ Jesus, 
I have met him. I've experienced him. I experienced salvation. Anyone in authority, whether you are a president or vice president or senator, this platform, I'm using it to speak. You can experience salvation. Salvation is through the mediation of Jesus to God. If you come through it, you will enjoy the joy of salvation. The joy of salvation comes in when you receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. I saw a bomb blast in Abuja. This bomb blast happened in a place that you will be surprised. This bomb blast that I saw, it happened in a place in Abuja that you will be surprised. I know there are going there are going to be cases like that in other northern part of Nigeria, but this one is vividly I saw it. The Lord opened my eyes to see, because it's by His grace that I see. So I saw a bomb blast. I saw some people die in that process. So please. We, want, we don't want any life to be lost. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, O oh Lord, that that bomb blast be cancelled in Jesus' name. Father, preserve Abuja. Anywhere they are plotting evil, anywhere they are plotting bomb blast, I cancel it in Jesus' name. Father, let that plan be scattered. I scatter it. I scatter it. I scatter it. I scatter it. Father, preserve Bolame Tunumbu. Preserve Shetima. Preserve the senators. Preserve the leaders. Preserve them in Jesus' name. Preserve. 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 Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Preserve them. Show mercy. 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 Even the people in Abuja preserve them. There shall be no loss. I pray for Abuja. There shall be no loss. I pray for Abuja. There shall be no loss. Oh, all the raging war, let them fall. All the enemies, let them fall. All the powers that want to cause the bomb blast, I cancel the powers in Jesus' name. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh God, deliver my people. Oh God, deliver my people. Deliver my people in Abuja. Nigerian people are my people. Deliver them, oh God. Oh God, arise and fight. Oh God, arise and fight. Pull down anything that will cause bomb blast. Oh Lord, deliver Nigeria. Deliver Nigeria. Deliver Abuja. Deliver Abuja. Deliver Abuja. Deliver Abuja. In the name of Jesus. That bomb blast, I can't see it. 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 Lord have mercy. 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 In Jesus' name I pray. You know, the Lord told me that this year there will be blood flow from the north. And I saw it. And I say, why the blood flow? This blood flow will include terrorist attack. It will inc include two acts. I made, I made a mistake last uh, broadcast. I think I said three hearts. It's two hearts. It was January 1st. I gave the broadcast that there will be blood flow from the north. And I said I saw two hearts. Two, two hearts. And these two hearts, they were fighting and they faint. We saw it. The confirmation has come. The war between uh, Ado Bayero and... and um, Lamido Sanusi is still going to persist. But we pray that it will not escalate to protest and casualty. Because that's what I told you at the beginning of this year. And the one that is happening again in the Sokoto, I heard Sokoto and the governor, they are having issue. You are going to be seeing two, two things like that. Act, two acts. They are fighting. Different, different locations in the north. There is going to be a lot of issues in the north. We are going to be hearing bomb blasts in the north. So we need to pray for the north. 
they not need to pray because the 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 crisis will be so much that it it will now brood the coming of cyrus we don't know the cyrus but god knows so we need to be in constant prayer for people in the north father merciful father show mercy let your mercy prevail over the plan of the enemy disgrace the enemy disgrace the enemy in the name of jesus disgrace the enemy the enemy that want to take blood disgrace the enemy satan is the enemy let satan be put to shame in the name of jesus we come against every satanic powers principalities that want to take people's blood in the north the one that happened in plateau oh we were not happy and i said it i say life is in the blood nobody have power to take human blood therefore we pray that every crisis that we involve bloodshed i can sue it in jesus name when i heard the one that happened recently i heard it happened in the um, bonu it was terrible i now remember the prophecy of blood flow that's why we need to pray I want you people to pray for our people in the north because what is happening, it's a prophecy that God has shown to us that we need to pray because I saw a heavy blood flow from the north. I saw it and I told you this blood flow is as a result of terrorist attack, casualty, kidnapping, vices. This bomb blast is part of it and that's what we are saying now. And I'm warning, and I'm praying, and I'm saying, federal government, you please take care of Abuja. I saw a bomb blast in Abuja. That's what I saw. But we can pray. We have prayed. And I believe prayer without work is dead. Because that's what the Bible says. So we need to pray, and we need to walk. We need to walk, and we need to pray. When you have faith, your faith must go into action with work. Put machineries in place. Ensure there is protection. I know the federal government is trying, but we need to ensure more because of this revelation that I have. Because the human soul is very precious. So please, as much as we can, we will do you, the government to do their best to ensure more security in the north. This bomb blast, I saw it in Abuja. So we need to ensure we pray, we watch. And then security is put in place. Security is put in place. Father, I pray that you preserve the innocence. Preserve the innocent. Lord, no innocent man or woman will run into any bomb. Anyone that plant the bomb, will, the bomb will fall on that person in the name of Jesus. Anyone that initiates a bomb blast, it will fall on that person in the name of Jesus. Father, preserve the life of the people in the government. Preserve the life of the people in the senatorial position. Preserve the life of the people in the presidency. Preserve the life of the people in Asura. Preserve the life of the people in Abuja, all over Abuja. God of power, God of miracle, preserve their life. Let there be protection. Lord, I pray, protect your people. Protect your people. Every danger, every casualty I can sue. In the name of Jesus, God of miracle, I pray for this nation that you preserve this nation in the name of Jesus. Father, we hand over this nation unto your hand. We hand over this nation unto your hand. Any evil plot can sue it. We can sue evil plot. I can sue evil plot. In the name of Jesus, I can sue evil plot. Any evil plot of bomb blast. In Abuja, I cancel it in Jesus' name. We need to pray. This bomb blast, when the thing happened, I saw something that's dark. The thing born. Human being was inside. So, in Abuja, this thing is in Abuja. So, because I, I when I saw it and I heard was bomb blast bomb blast so we need to pray please need to pray need to pray always 
Because for a revelation to come to us, it means we need to pray. Whatever the enemy has put in place, I can sue it in Jesus' name. Any pit they dig for people, they will fall into the pit. He that diggeth a pit will fall into the pit. God preserve the life of my people. Nigeria is a nation blessed by God. Unfortunately, we have insanity ruminating in the nation. And this insanity, some of them is caused by hunger. Some of them is caused by foolishness. Some of them is caused by wrong hypnotism, psyche. Some people mind has been messed up. And then when they psych them, they can do anything because their hungry stomach has affected their brain. They can't reason. That's why we are praying that the federal government, they should make food to go down, the food prices to go down because our people are suffering. We see people every day begging. We see life turning upside down in the, in the face of this adversity. People like us, we don't feel happy. We are not comfortable because we know what it is. When we were younger, we know how things were. Things were, were not hard like this. Some people cannot eat. And then when you, when you, this type of people continue like this, they can be hypno, hypnotized, hypnotism, and then they use them for all these things. The bomb blast. Somebody who is comfortable, who is doing well, who is happy, cannot go and detone bomb. It's madness. It's hypnotism. So we pray, Lord, all those hypnotic actions, hypnotic powers. We can I can sue it in Jesus' name. Father, let the mind of people be at peace. Give peace into the heart of men. I decree peace into Nigeria. Peace into this nation. A blood wash Nigeria. I pray that the Nigeria be washed with the blood of Jesus. Let there be sanity in the nation. Let there be sanity in the nation. Every insanity in the heart of men, Lord, take it away. Every insanity in the brain, take it away. Every insanity in the spirit, take it away. Deliver men. Deliver them from every insanity. We are just, we are living, we are seeing insanity growing everywhere. It is insane for somebody to just carry bomb and blast himself and die. And it's insane. It's insanity. And this insanity is on the high side. I see insanity being cancelled as I'm praying in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, every insanity, I cancel you in Jesus' name. I pray that God should begin to help the mindset, to begin to change to a new horizon, to begin to think of better things. People are thinking of how to produce um aeroplane that is detachable i saw a design of aeroplane that is detachable when it has an accident it will detach i saw it i was shocked it's in ukraine they are designing it in ukraine i saw it i said wow that's what nigerians should be doing but rather you see a situation where they will use somebody to go and bomb somewhere what what type of like, are we going back we should be going forward. Lord, help us to go forward. I will pray for this nation until this nation move forward. Help this nation to go forward. Any power that holds this nation captive, let them lose their grip in Jesus' name. Any chain that chain this nation, I break the chain in Jesus' name. I command liberation for this nation. Liberation for this nation. Liberation for this nation. Liberation for this nation. Nigeria be liberated right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Liberation. Liberation. Liberation in the name of Jesus. Liberation is coming. Your family will be liberated from any blown blast, blown, uh, bomb blast in Jesus' name. <laughs> 
uh, your family will be liberated. I decree for you watching this platform, your family will be liberated from any bomb blast in Jesus' name. No bomb blast will touch any of you. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. That's the blood of the new covenant. It's so powerful. It speaks better thing than the blood of Abel. In Hebrew 12, 24, he told us that the blood of Jesus speaks better thing than the blood of Abel. Therefore, I spill the blood to your corridor now. No bomb blast will near your house. No bomb blast will near your door. No bomb blast will near your car. No bomb blast will near your children. I cover your children with the blood of Jesus. No weapon fashioned against your children will prosper. Every tongue that rises in judgment, they shall be condemned in Jesus' name. We should pray for the north. The message I'm getting is not good. That we are going to hear more bomb blast. Just like in the time of Jonathan. It's going to be similar. More bomb blast. More are coming. So we should pray for the nation. We should pray for we should pray for the north. That oh Lord, take away the issue of bomb blast. Preserve the life of the people. The life of human being is very important. Whether he's a houseboy or he's a gate man or he's a whoever. The life is very important. And no power, no man has right to take any life. The bomb blast, the bomb, uh, suicide bombers, they are committing murder. They murder themselves, they murder the people. And, and the Bible tells us in Exodus 20, verse 13, that thou shalt not commit murder. Murder is a terrible sin in the sight of God. Bible made us to know in Leviticus that the life is in the blood. So it is our duty as believers to pray that Lord avert all this evil. There are evil in the day. Lord avert it for us in Jesus' name. Fight for this nation. This nation, Lord, come and intervene. We need your divine intervention. As a believer in your secrecy, pray for this nation. In your secret, pray for this nation. In your private, pray for this nation. Pray, intercede, intercede, supplicate for this nation. We saw it in 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 4. That we should intercede for kings, intercede for the nation, pray for the nation, supplicate. When we continue to do this, then we are performing our priesthood office position. Because the Bible says we are royal priesthood, peculiar people. As a priest, in an office of a priesthood, we are expected to pray for the nation. Don't just pray for yourself alone. When you pray for yourself alone, it is not in accordance with the Bible. The, the, the stipulation in the Bible is that we pray for one another. We supplicate for nation. We pray for the nation. I read it to you. Maybe I should read it again because I'm rounding up. It's already time. May God help us. May God help us. Say amen. God will help us in Jesus' name. Don't just pray for yourself. That's why you see some people, they don't have answer to prayer. Only their, their own self. Every time, selfish prayer. You pray for yourself. You don't pray for the nation. You don't pray for the authority. Don't pray for anything. Only yourself. No, it's not like that. Pray for, your, for your, the nation. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayer, intercession, and giving of thanks be made to all men. Then it go for that, for kings. These are the people in positions. And for all that are in authorities, senators, as of rep, local government chairman, uh, ministers, any position authorities that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life and in all godliness and honesty for this is good and acceptable in the sight of god our savior it's acceptable by god that you pray for the nation you pray for those in authority it's good 
Don't just say, I'm a believer. Pray for only yourself. No. He said, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth? May God help us in Jesus' name. God bless you as we continue to pray for the new Nigeria. I can assure you that the new Nigeria will surely come to pass. And God will do it. It will be a thing of testimony when it happens. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.